And welcome to another one of my videos. Yesterday, I am going to be giving you all a gorgeous wardrobe tour. Ooh -wee. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. When and a welcome to the, the Juno Show. When and a welcome to the Juno Show. When a welcome to the Juno Show. <laughs> yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, I am back. And we are here in my wardrobe. Excuse me. Um, what the hell? <laughs> Just a rubber chicken, everybody. Right. Um, so, today, oh, today we are going to be sorting my wardrobe out. And while I'm doing so, I'm going to show you all of the things that I hoard because I'm a very, very messy hoarder. Cyril, can you please behave? Thank you very much. Right, will you put my drink down? Thank you. So, we're, we need to start somewhere, don't we? So, um, this is a leg. I had legs in the Juno show. So when I do the opera voice, I had the legs up in the air. Very stunning. We need to find a space for props, Philly, because um, we need to find a space for everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I do need to tidy up because I need to sort my life out. It's January, everybody. It's 2024. Um, these are my lovely flamingos that I bought off Amazon.co.uk for DragCon. Because I did a little, little suburban garden, didn't I? One of my treasured cock bowers. Very stunning and gorgeous cock bower. <laughs> I own a lot of squeaky toys, everybody. Not because I have a dog or anything, but I just like them. This this is not part of the wardrobe, but it could be. I have in the past put a chain on it and used it as a handbag. This was from California, and it is a salmon, a vintage salmon 1950s toy. This is a new bag, everybody, that I've not had a chance to wear yet. And it's now officially my favorite bag, and it was a gift from the icon, Ida Berthing, who is one of my favorite costume um, and prop and accessory makers. Isn't this insane? They're such a cool artist. Um, I just love all the little googly fingers. This, I also have this as well. This is a boa. This was by Licorice Black. She made me this stowel with all the fingers. Gold finger. Um, we all. Oh yeah. Also, this everybody. Can you stop it? This, this is a hair dryer that I stole from Cheryl Hole from DragCon 2023, and it's now permanently a clothes hanger. This is a space helmet headpiece that I had made even before lockdown, wasn't it, Philly? When I was mm -hmm. doing the Sims videos repeatedly. Um, and it's inspired by um, a lot of the 1960s space age um, moments. And it's by Paulette Cherry, everybody. Amazing artist. And they used the ends of um, water pistols. That's the tank that the water goes in. And then you just screw them on the top. So it's very good for packing. Um, also, Paulette Cherry made me this cow plant. It is a cow plant puppet. I've done a few Little Shop of Horrors numbers with this. This very gorgeously stoned lobster piece is by Freak Couture, who has done most of my costumes, if not all of them, for drag. Um, and this was for the Juno Show tour last year, where I was um, de-shelled as a beautiful lobster and transformed into a gorgeous goddess. Oh, I found a hat, What? You find? I was looking for this. Oh, you found Beautiful, it now. Beautiful, gorgeous, and stunning hat that I wore at the opening of the Trixie Motel on Discovery Plus. Yes, that's happening. Oh, also, speaking of which, um, Trixie Motel hoodie. This one is my beautiful um, burlesque booby costume, and it is a skin suit 
that has 10 breasts on it. And it even has a long booby that swings. I usually wear this one for Halloween when I do a lovely burlesque, alien burlesque, and it's very stunning. And it even has a booby on the back. Now this is one of my first ever drag costumes. I call it a costume, it's not really a costume. It's a wedding dress from ASOS that I painted swirls all over it. So I wore this as the Martian spy woman from Mars Attacks and I hand painted all of the um, acrylic swirls on. But what I did is I wore a big hoop skirt underneath with a hula hoop attached inch from the floor and lock my knees in and tiptoe really fast and that's how you do the Mars Attacks walk, everyone. Cyril loves it when I sort my wardrobe out because it's like a little, a little den for you, isn't it? Just, he's got a thing about putting his hand on my nose at the moment, I don't really know what that's about. Ooh, je suis! You want the other umbrella, don't you? want to go up there. You want to go up there? You take this off. He sometimes likes to climb. Sometimes likes to climb on the on the clothes. Go on. Sometimes I even let Cyril pick me out a costume, um, and which one he touches is the one that I'm going to wear. Which one do you want to show them? This, everybody, is my very famous Attack of the Stunning spacesuit that I wore all around the world. Well, I say the world. I mean America, Australia, and the UK. But um, this was worn. <laughs> hundreds of times in shows and it was not washed once um, and it did not smell because people I don't get body odor um, oh also I have these beautiful boas from sequin showstoppers now I bought these in like years and years ago and then I see Trixie Mattel wearing the same stuff and then I don't wear it anymore so those are probably going to be for sale <laughs> this is my gorgeous flip goes the helmet. Was that the helmet? <laughs> yeah. This is my beautiful flamingo costume. So not only is it a Bjork swan inspired dress, it is also a puppet. So in the show I would hide behind the sofa, shove my hand into this and do Bjork it's so so quiet with this squawking in the middle. I've had this bag before I even started doing drag. This is my animal backpack. This is also by Paulette Cherry, very stunning headpiece. Ooh! Now you all know I love The Sims 2 and I love the plant sims in The Sims 2. And this, if you watch back my videos, you'll see I wore this in a few videos where I did a plant sim makeup tutorial. Hot dog costumes galore, everybody. You know I love a hot dog costume. I have about five. Now, one of my things I love doing with my drag is I love taking things that you would find in a supermarket and wearing them as a handbag. So I love bags like this, little strawberry milkshake bags. Oh my God, there's old Judith Louise. Oh my God, she's been through a lot, hasn't she? Um, oh, also, I've not even had a chance to wear these yet. These are, I get a lot of my drag bits from ASOS and websites like that. How stunning are those? Oh, another sequin showstoppers boa. Oh, I wear this one a lot when I do Shirley Bassey. Funny how long they do. Can they go back and see what good is my life? Um, now, a lot of my costumes, I have noticed, are all fitted to corset and pads. Because I went through a phase in 2022 where I wore a lot of hip pads. Look at the size of that piece hip pads and a tiny little waspy corset. Oh yes, so this is a beautiful, this is Freak Couture again, everyone. Freak Couture. This is a beautiful pencil skirt that was fashioned from the curtains of a photo shoot. I have the top half here and this goes on there and then it becomes a gown. Isn't that beautiful? This is one of my more expensive ones because I have a lot of ostrich feathers on it. I just love the movement of ostrich feathers. It's very Muppets. I think this one and this one are my favorite handbags. This was from New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans, a little market stall. And it just is so good quality. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? 
and it also has a little cockroach in it. I don't know why there's a cockroach in it, but I must have put that in there at some point. Carmen Miranda fruit headpiece. I mean, what drag queen does not own one of these? They're all memories. All of these clothes have memories. Actually, some of these clothes are older than my drag career. Um, this is my Chanel slash Marge Simpson drag con 2020. Two, three, 2023. Yeah. Juno Mart. This stuff, I think I'm gonna put on Depop or Vinted or something because as you can see, people, I need to reserve some space because it's getting a bit out of hand, isn't it? Mm. A bit, yeah. Um, this costume, this is inspired by Sarah Jessica Parker in Mars Attacks when she is the journalist lady. Um, I wear this all the time. It's one of my favourite outfits. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. This one is one is a beautiful 70s inspired waistcoat and skirt. But if you look closely, this material is very gorgeous. Can you see the texture of it? It has like a fake hair on it. I mean, these, I think these are from H&M. I know RuPaul likes H&M, but people, H&M sells some pretty camp things. What else have we got? Oh, right. This is my first costume that Freak Couture made me. And this is obviously one of my favorite gowns. It is a scuba zebra fishtail mermaid dress with pointed breasts and um, moss green ostrich sleeves and it's absolutely beautiful and I can do the Mars Attacks walk in that as well. Ooh. Some of my recent looks, polka dot coca-cola queen, oh there's another leg, there's lots of legs everywhere in my wardrobe. I think we need to redo this one, Philly. <laughs> <laughs> Available on Drag Queen merch, everybody. Yes, what's happening? Juno Birch death on The Sims. Um, a lot of this stuff is actually vintage. This is vintage. Uh, Los Angeles. What's that shop we always go to in Los Angeles that's had uh, some vintage stuff? Jet. Jet. Jet rag. Jet rag. Jet rag. Jet, 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 jet rag. Oh my God, yes, a waterproof coat that I got sent in post by The Sims. I was looking for this before I went Disneyland and I couldn't find mm. it. Oh look, cereal bag from Dolls Kill. That's very stunning. I've not actually worn that yet. Oh my God, I forgot this one. This is a very special dress. Now I know it doesn't look very spooky, but I wore this for Halloween at Heidi Klum's New York Halloween party. It's Freak Couture again, everyone. So we'll be careful, please, Baba. Oh, Judith Louise is here. <laughs> at least, at least the pile of clothes broke my fall. You're right. Yeah, I just winded myself oh, a little bit. Okay. Um, this is Judith Louise 2.0. My Boston lobster hats got caught on Judith Louise's arm. Judith is a foul-mouthed little cow. Judith was on the Juno Show tour. We did a few numbers together, didn't we? Yes, it was very, very stunning. Now get over there. Oh, space boots that go with my um, Sarah Jessica Parker journalist-inspired Colleen Atwood Mars Attacks dress. Oh, with another leg. I found another leg. How many legs have you got? I don't know. And I want a pure imagination. Oh my God, there's too many things to show people, Philly. This is a... I think I cut that. I don't know why I cut that, but I must have done. Sometimes I get in a little bit of a rampage before I film and I go, oh my God, what am I gonna wear? And then I cut things up and... Um, oh, is that a Burger King hat? I'm not sure where we got that. Lifeguard, when I was a stunning Pamela Anderson lifeguard. Oh, I've not worn this yet. This is from ASOS, everybody. How nice is that stitching? This one, do you remember this, Philly? Mm -hmm. oh, so this, wait, let me stand up. <sighs> oh my God, I feel dizzy. This is called a ravioli dress and it is by Yen Wong. 
and she is an amazing costume designer. And she made me this for a Jo Malone shoot. Do you remember where we filmed it in the mm -hmm. park? Yeah. And it has a cage inside the, um, the bum. And then this thing ties around the waist inside this little sausage. I don't sew, I can't sew, and I don't want to. But I did sew one thing, and it was this. And I think it was Gay Times. I needed a stole when I was going to Gay Times Awards. And this is a spaghetti monster that I made. Oh, Cyril, Cyril. Look, I found you with the cactus tree. I wonder where that was. These are from La Moda. Very gorgeous, very gorgeous. I have so many pairs of shoes, people. Oh my God, Ronald McDonald. I was once. <laughs> Sorry. You're fired. <laughs> I was once, in fact, a Ronald McDonald queen. And I ran around with burgers and chips glued onto a tray. And I did, I think we're alone now. So this video was supposed to be a video of me sorting out the wardrobe. But it actually looks like I made it worse. Um. So that's not good, is it? Um, well, I think we need to hire somebody to come in and organise my life. <laughs> Might be a good idea. <laughs> if they would. <laughs> that, everybody, is pretty much the wardrobe tour. Um, I'm going to stop now because I'm getting a bit carried away with things. Excuse me. <laughs> um, but I will see you next time. Goodbye. Sweet.